I remember crossing up the bridge, crossing the street, and then walking on the bridge, and then and that's all I remember that night. Billy and London filled me in on the rest. We were coming back, trying to take the metro, and then, um, you know, we we're looking across the street, and then all of a sudden, you know, I just see Alex bolt across the street. He crossed the median, and then all of a sudden, you know, that's when he got hit by the car. And then, like, I just remember seeing him in the air. He fell, fell on his back. You know, he was unconscious. His eyes were rolling, rolling back until then. And then uh, I slowly started, like, patting him on the chest and trying to wake him up. And then, you know, about 10 seconds later, he woke up. And while I was patting him, I was calling 911. Um, then I just started asking Alex, you know, simple questions. You know, who you are? Do you know where you are? Do you know who I am? All these things. And, you know, about two minutes later, the ambulance showed up. They had me on a lot of drugs, so I, it's, it's kind of hazy. but. Um, I had no idea why I was in there, and um, the nurse came up to me, told me what happened, told me the surgeries I had, and the first thing I said was, oh shit, my coach is going to kill me, <laughs> and I don't remember saying that, but that's what he told me, and then um, I just remember feeling my legs and just couldn't believe that none of my legs were broken. It was hard, you know, hard to stay focused, I mean, you know, one of your teammates, one of your brothers that you've been so close to for the last two years, you know, is in a situation like that, but um you know, definitely brought our team a lot closer and made people realize, you know, how fast things can go by. Let's go, Maryland! Let's go, Maryland! The first week, I couldn't even lift something that was over five pounds. I started jogging a month and a half after it happened. So after that, I just ran every day, and I, that was probably the best shape I was ever in my life. We played Akron, and I came in with 20 minutes left. I came in um, at left back, and the first play I was in, the keeper got the ball and just kicked it over to my side. But like, first thing I was like, oh man, and I, I just got up headed and it didn't hurt. So after that, I figured I was going to be fine. It was great seeing him out there a couple weeks later, walking around. Then all of a sudden, a month later, he's jogging. Two months later, at the end of the season, you know, he's starting to play a little small possession with us. You know, it was, it was insane to see how quickly he recovered from such a tragic hit and injury. You, you see something like that, it's probably the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. And, um, you know, I just take every day for what it is and make sure I live it to the fullest because, you know, all it takes is a split second like that and then all of a sudden it's done. I definitely look at di uh, life differently. I mean, I definitely, I, my whole life was just soccer. And it still is. I love soccer. It's my favorite thing to do. But I, I definitely value everything else, family, friends, just and life in general a lot more than I did. So, But soccer still probably my, my number one.